My name is Tom and I tested Freestyle Library 3 and Dexcom G6 head to head for six weeks. This will be a comprehensive video where I will tell you just about all the differences between these two CGMs I found. You can use timestamps down below to skip to the topic that you are most interested in. This video is not sponsored. I'm not working for the big companies behind these CGMs. I'm working for you. I'm sharing my own personal experience and my honest opinion. By the way, if you want to connect with me one on one, then join my Patreon community and unlock direct messaging option or just book a private session with me. Both of the links are in the description. But now let's jump to the meat of this video and talk about Libre 3 and Dexcom G6. Let's start with what these two devices have in common. They both are great tools to continuously monitor your glucose levels without pricking your fingers. You simply place a patch with the sensor on your skin and the sensors automatically feed all your glucose data to your device via Bluetooth. Both devices read your glucose levels from the interstitial fluid, which is the body fluid between blood vessels and cells. The sensors don't tell you your actual blood sugar, but the readings from the interstitial fluid give a pretty good indication of what your blood sugar is. The first difference between Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 is how these sensors are designed. You can probably see at the first sight that Libre 3 is a lot smaller and a lot thinner when sitting on my arm compared to Dexcom G6. The difference in size is massive. Libre 3 has a size and shape of two stacked US pennies. It's extremely sleek and really good looking. And it weighs literally nothing. I've used about five of these Libre 3 sensors and until today I still can't believe how tiny and light they are and how little skin area they need. Compared to that, Dexcom G6 transmitter is sitting in a separate medical looking transmitter holder and comes off as a giant old dinosaur. And because of the G6 bulkier shape, it is a lot easier to get caught on external objects if you are not careful. So you need to be a lot more considerate of this bad boy when you are getting dressed and being physically active. Dexcom G6 also needs a lot bigger skin area. With adhesive, it's about 2.5 inches or 6 centimeters long. So for smaller kids who are running around all the time, Libre 3 seems to be a lot more suitable. And I'm not saying it's not possible to pull out Libre 3 by accident. It definitely definitely is, especially because of its small contact area. Another thing to consider is comfort when you sleep. And again, the bulkier shape of the G6 will probably bother you a lot more when you lie on it and will give you a lot more compression lows. Both sensors are water resistant, so swimming with them and taking a shower is not a problem. And speaking of sizes, for me it's not only about the sensor size, it's also about the size of the packaging and the amount of plastic waste. Here is a comparison of one month supplies. You can see that the amount of waste from Dexcom G6 packaging is of a different order of magnitude. So when it comes to design, Libre 3 wins by a lot for me and gets 10 out of 10. Dexcom G6 only gets 7 out of 10. Some of you might have noticed that I rated Dexcom G6 8 out of 10 for design in one of my previous videos. But with Freestyle Libre 3, the standard of what is 10 out of 10 increased. And so now Dexcom is dropping to 7 out of 10. Next I want to talk about how easy or difficult it is to apply, use and remove these sensors. Both of these solutions are true continuous glucose monitors and so they automatically feed all glucose data from the sensor directly to your device via Bluetooth. And they are really user friendly because you simply see your glucose data on the screen at all times. There is no more scanning of the sensor to transfer the data which was the case with Freestyle Libre 2. Both systems tell you what your glucose is right now now by showing you a number, where it's headed by showing you a trend arrow, and where it has been in the past few hours by showing you a graph. When it comes to sensor application, Abbott was able to reduce the number of steps needed. So all you need to do is clean your skin, screw off the lid of the applicator and push the applicator against the skin and then scan the sensor with your phone. And this is the only time you need to scan by the way, there is no more scanning after that. So I think Freestyle Libre 3 application could really not get any easier. There is literally nothing you can mess up and it takes literally 15 to 20 seconds. With Dexcom G6 things get more complicated than that because there is a exact series of steps you need to take. First you let the system know that you're going to change the sensor, then you need to pair the new sensor with your device, remove the transmitter from the old sensor, apply the new sensor and connect the transmitter to your new sensor and start the new sensor on your device. It's not a rocket science either, you can still do it, but comparing it to Libre 3 make Dexcom G6 seem unnecessarily complicated and difficult when it comes to insertion. And by the way, I have detailed videos where I walk you through application of both Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 and I will link them in the video description for your convenience 
convenience if you want to check them out. A lot of you have been asking if the application is more painful with Libre or Dexcom. And to be honest, I really don't see any differences in that category. Libre goes in under a 90 degree angle and Dexcom under a 45 degree angle. But the application nor the removal of any of them is not really painful. Another important difference when it comes to side change is the warm up time. The Freestyle Libre 3 warm up time only lasts 60 minutes. The Dexcom G6 warm up time is 2 hours. It's probably not a deal breaker, but something to keep in mind that you will be without the data from your CGM for 2 hours with Dexcom G6, which is twice as long as with Freestyle Libre 3. So when it comes to sensor application and removal, I would give Libre 3 again 10 out of 10 and Dexcom G6 only 7 out of 10 because of the longer warm up time and a bit more complicated side change process. By the way, the only approved side for Freestyle Libre 3 is the back of your upper arm. With Dexcom G6, you have a little bit more flexibility because you can use the back of your upper arm, you can use your abdomen, and if you are below 18 years old, you can use your upper buttocks. But to be honest, Dexcom doesn't get any credit for that in my evaluation because the abdomen side proves to be extremely difficult for me and I never use it. Next difference is wear time aka how long can you use these sensors. The official wear time of the Dexcom G6 sensor is 10 days. So after 10 days, you need to change the sensor. The official lifetime of the Dexcom G6 transmitter, which is the gray piece, is three months. So you don't throw out the gray piece and use it repeatedly with multiple sensors. The official wear time of Freestyle Libre 3 is 14 days. So with Freestyle Libre 3, you do a side change every two weeks. I had no issues with using these sensors for the whole period of their office official lifetime. The only difference I found is that I found the Libre adhesive sticking a little bit better to my skin compared to Dexcom G6. Dexcom's adhesive is a lot bigger than the Libre adhesive and it typically starts peeling off after a few days. So it not only looks more medical, but I also noticed that I'm using my skin grip over patches a lot more with the Dexcom G6 sensors to keep them on. And I will include a link in the video description with a 10% discount to the patches that I use in case you want to get them. They have them for Dexcom G6, they also have them for Freestyle Libre and I believe they will come up with patches for Freestyle Libre 3 as well soon. For me, changing the sensor side is not something I love to do. So the longer, the better. That's why Libre 3 wins again and it gets 9 out of 10. Dexcom G6 gets 8 out of 10 for wear time. Next, I want to talk about Bluetooth connection reliability and alarms. As I already mentioned, the data is sent from both of these sensors to their respective receiving devices automatically via Bluetooth. From my experience, when using a phone as the receiving device, the reliability of both sensors and the reach of both of them is fairly similar and comparable. None of them is perfect. Both Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 lose connection from time to time. But as long as you keep your phone in the same room where you are, the data transfer is fairly smooth. Both systems have customizable alarms and they will alert you when your glucose is too high, too low, or when your device loses the connection from the sensor. I like the Dexcom G6 alarms a lot better because you can better customize them to your needs. They are more flexible. For example, they have a repeat function and you can set the exact length of the snooze period, which I find extremely helpful. Dexcom also offers a lot more sound options for your alarms compared to Freestyle Libre. So in terms of Bluetooth reliability and alarms, Dexcom G6 is the winner. Libre 3 gets 8 out of 10 and Dexcom G6 gets 9 out of 10. Next topic I want to cover is receiving devices and integration. And this is an area where Dexcom G6 blows Freestyle Libre 3 out of the water. Because with Libre 3, the only device you can use to receive the data from the sensor is your phone. With Dexcom G6, you can use your phone, a dedicated CGM reader, or view your glucose data on your smartwatches and insulin pumps. I get my blood glucose readings on my Apple Watch. And so when I'm using Dexcom, I'm able to check my glucose value and graph all the time just by taking a quick glance at my wrist, as long as my phone is within the Bluetooth reach as well. Libre 3 doesn't let me do that. It has no dedicated reader and when it comes to Apple Watch, the only thing I can get there is a push low high alarm notification. Another thing that I absolutely love about Dexcom G6 is that I can use it as part of a commercial closed loop insulin delivery solution with my Tandem T-Slim X2 insulin pump. And at the beginning of 2022, Dexcom G6 is the only CGM solution on the market that offers this kind of integration and commercial closed loop. 
Libre 3 should be able to do it in the future, but we don't know when. And that's why I give Libre 3 only 2 out of 10 and Dexcom G6 8 out of 10 for integration with other devices. Hopefully Freestyle Libre 3 will improve in the future. By the way, if you've been enjoying the video so far, hit that like button. This is the only admission you have to pay today. Now I want to talk about accuracy of these two systems and that's where this battle gets really interesting. Both Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 sensors are calibrated in the factory, so you just put them on and start using them. There is no calibration needed on the user side. On paper, Dexcom G6 is slightly more accurate with an overall mean average relative difference of 9% compared to Freestyle Libre 3 Smart of 9.2%. But Libre 3 actually feels a lot more accurate than that. And it's probably because it's a real-time minute-by-minute CGM. The glucose value on Libre 3 updates every minute. With Dexcom G6, it only updates every 5 minutes. And as an effect, Freestyle Libre 3 is more timely, which makes it seem more accurate as well. Overall, both sensors feel quite accurate, but I have one complaint about each of them. Libre 3 readings tend to be a bit lower than those from a finger prick most of the time. This has been the issue with all previous generations for many Freestyle Libre users, and it still seems to be the case with Freestyle Libre 3. My readings haven't been off by a lot, but it's definitely something I need to take into account when I see that happening. The issue I've been having with Dexcom G6 is that it's been notoriously inaccurate on the first day. It's always off a lot during the first 6 to 8 hours, but on day 2 the accuracy of readings magically improves. And I already discussed my Dexcom issue in my previous video, so I don't want to complain about it for too long. Because all these complaints are just my own personal experience, but you might see completely different results. Big plus of Dexcom G6 is that it offers optional calibration in the native Dexcom G6 app, which is really cool. Calibration Calibration is definitely an area where Freestyle Libre 3 is falling behind. So I'm gonna make this a tie and give both Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 9 out of 10 for accuracy. There seem to be a room for improvement for both. Next difference I want to cover are mobile apps. As of January 22, both systems are supported by apps for mobile phones, no matter if you use iOS and Android. As long as the system has been launched in your country, there should be a mobile app available. The main app for Dexcom G6 is called Dexcom G6 and the main app for Freestyle Libre 3 is called Freestyle Libre 3. Both of these apps give you the basic information about your current glucose, its strength and alarms. My experience with managing my blood sugar real time was a bit better with Dexcom G6 app. The Dexcom app is very simple but very effective. It allows you to flip the screen and zoom in and out on specific time range within the last 24 hours, which is really helpful in those right here, right now situations. On the other hand, Freestyle Libre 3 app offers a few more extras, like black mode and similar to previous versions, you can view 7 to 90 day history and a lot more statistic that you can use for your long term treatment decisions right within the app. For these long term decisions, Dexcom has a separate app called Clarity. Clarity works on both your phone and your computer and it's very similar to the Libre View app, which you might be familiar with as a Libre user and which is still available for Freestyle Libre 3. Clarity and Libre View are both great tools to share all your data and all your reports with your doctors and something to look into if you want to get nerdy with your blood sugar numbers. Both systems have separate apps that you can use to follow someone like your loved one or your child who is a diabetic. These apps are called Libre Link Up for Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom Follow for Dexcom G6. I would say that Dexcom G6 wins this category by a tiny bit. So I give Libre 3 7 out of 10 and Dexcom G6 8 out of 10 for apps. But to be honest, both of the main apps look a little bit old fashioned and I think both companies could do a little bit more in terms of design of these apps and additional functions. If you watched all the way here, the question you might be asking is, how much will this sensor solution cost me? Well, it very much depends on the country where you live and your insurance coverage. In general, Libre sensors have always been cheaper for those who pay out of pocket. And I don't expect this to change because the Libre 3 price tag is exactly the same as Libre 2. My insurance typically covers 26 Libre sensors and 27 Dexcom G6 sensors and 3 Dexcom G6 transmitters per year. So when I use Dexcom G6, I get free sensors and transmitters for 270 days. With Freestyle Libre, I'm covered all year long. And that's why I'm giving Libre 3 10 out of 10 and Dexcom G6 8 out of 10 
for cost. Having said that, I realize for those who are paying out of pocket and are in a lower income category than I am, this might still be a lot and you might rate them lower. I get that. Now, before we get to the final result of this test and before I tell you which CGM I will be using from now on, I want to share a couple more thoughts. Today in January 2022, Freestyle Libre 3 is only available in Germany. It will probably not be available in any other countries for a few months. And I'm saying that to demonstrate that Libre 3 is really quite new and some things discussed in this review might improve or change over time. And if that's the case, I will make an update video for that. On the other hand, Dexcom G6 has been on the market for years and most of the Dexcom users are impatiently waiting for the Dexcom G7 launch. So it is a lot older sensor, maybe not quite fair to compare Dexcom G6 with Freestyle Libre 3, but I decided to do it because they are both available on the market for me right now, for example, in Germany. And don't worry, whenever G7 comes out, I will of course compare the G7 with Libre 3 as I always do. And as soon as any G7 videos are out, I will put a link to them in the description below so that you can check them out in case you are watching this later. And if you are deciding between Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G6, please don't get holed up so much on what people write or what people say on the internet. Everyone in the community has their own opinion, but their opinion is typically based on their one-off experience. It might be completely different for you. We are all different, so it really comes to you and what is the most important for you. Is it the design? Is it the accuracy? Is it the integration with insulin pumps? What is the most important for you? Maybe you put more weight on that category and you don't just look at the results that I have here or someone else discussed in their review. You decide. As for the results of my test, both Freestyle Libre 3 and Dexcom G6 got 65 points. So it's a tie and I'm asking myself, what is the most important for me? Insulin pump integration. 100%. This is the most important for me. I don't care that much about the design. I care more about the insulin pump integration right now at this point. Being able to loop and use the Control IQ automated insulin delivery solution is the reason I will be staying with Dexcom G6 for the time being and I will use it as my daily driver. But if Freestyle Libre 3 starts working with the tandem pump and Control IQ, I will seriously consider switching to Freestyle Libre 3 because all the other little things about Freestyle Libre 3 like really small tiny design, really good looking sensor, these are very attractive for me. No matter what, I will keep you posted. By the way, if you want to know more about the Control IQ algorithm, click on the video on the screen right now and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao.